400 spawn points? Oh, I will take it! Down tier in the jumbo, down tier in the jumbo, down tier in the jumbo, I'ma do well. Down tier in the jumbo, down tier in the jumbo, down tier in the jumbo, no T3485. <laughs> so if you guys don't know what I'm saying about, for three days in War Thunder, count them one, two, three days of, of toil, of agony, of the suffering. I have not been able to get a decent match in the jumbo, and by that I mean it's always been a 5.7 against Germany, so Tigers and Panthers, which the jumbo can handle, but doesn't. <laughs> and that's why it got its BR reduced back in the day. And, or, I'm against the Russians, and at a 5.3, which means T3485 IS1 spam and there's nothing I can do against those. I mean I can take out a T3485 but it's really really difficult. You basically have to hit the turret ring from the front because you can't go through the front plate because T34 and the turret just no just it's a whole lot of nope on that turret so um, and by the way, the T3485 can punch right through my frontal plate and just wipe me out in one shot. So, it had been a difficult slog the past few days to get the tanker medals, but in this match, well, we're gonna, we're gonna make some progress today, boys. So, uh, enjoy the video. I've shown a lot of the, uh, jumbo, but that's because I'm grinding for the tanker medals, and... <laughs> Excuse me, I got a head cold. And can you hear Tank Baby in the background? <gasps> yeah, say hi Tank Baby. Hi. Hi Guppy. Have a Guppy. Have a Guppy. Okay. <laughs> Sorry guys, did I get distracted? Maybe. I got a cute baby in the room, what am I supposed to do? She's still adorable guys. Like, I don't know if I've properly introduced Tank Baby, but her name is Guppy. No, that's not her real name, but that's what Daddy calls her, so that's what you guys get to know. And there's always somebody on that roadside there that's elevated. I guess it's a, a wall, and he's peeking and he's taking pot shots. And that's a, that's a, what's that called? A pack puma or Sonda Krafatzog two three four dash or slash four. So. Yeah, that. <laughs> yes, this. <laughs> um, what was I saying? So, I am facing the bias here. You know, we got the uh, the Finnish KV-1B, and we finished him off <laughs> with APCR. That's one nice thing about the jumbo is it gets APCR. I feel like more of the Sherman variants should get an APCR round, but I digress. It's not like America's allowed to have good penetrating rounds at uh, at 3.3. That would be that would be stupid, right? Because you know you got Panzer IVs that have, with their add-on armor, just as good armor as a Sherman, except on the turret, and uh, much much better gun. But uh, that's neither here nor there. America does just fine at 3.3. 4.7. Usually we do pretty well. But it's been impossible to get a down tier. Like I said, three days. Literally three days of playing. I know, Guppy. And playing more than usual because I have to play longer to grind out the tanker metal. And uh, this is my first down tier. This is my first down tier in the jumbo. And I'm not even talking about the combat. You can see for yourself. I mean, what can you say? I could talk about one kill, but then I just go and get another one. So, <laughs> this is life. This is life at, uh, at an actual 4.7 battle in the jumbo. This isn't even, uh, I'm still a little bit up tiered here because I'm not paying 450 spawn points for my tank. So I'm not quite top tier, but you wouldn't, uh, you, you wouldn't be able to tell <laughs> from, from hearing it. <laughs> there you go, jabbies. You can hear I've got a baby extorting uh, memes from me in the background here. So I'm giving her, I'm giving her uh, Cheerios. And uh, Cheerio now, governor. Good morning to you. You want some snackies? Little guppies. 
The ogre boys, you know the ogre boys. I love you. <laughs> I love you, little ogre boys. <laughs> she loves it when I do stupid accents. Um, not that people that talk that way are stupid, but that nobody talks that way, and I'm stupid. <laughs> but she loves it, and uh, she does this little low growl in the back of her throat. She's like, ha, ha. <laughs> so, I mean, how could I not, right? Um, anyway, guys. I've been getting like a little bit tired of making War Thunder videos, just a bit, you know. So it's nice to have a video like this where I can just relax and chill out and hang out with you guys. And maybe you notice that there's no game audio. Well, that's because I wasn't, uh, I was listening to a YouTube video in the background. Um, Thunder Show, by the way, fantastic show. Or no, it wasn't Thunder Show, it was, um, uh, what's the other one? The one where the one where they feature vehicles, um, I forget. This is you know I don't get enough sleep, so I can't remember right now. Okay, hold on, I gotta give another meme to Guppy. There you go. You want some memes, little Guppy? There you go. There you go, little Guppy. Have a cheerio and laugh. Have a cheerio. Cheerio, love. <laughs> I have no idea what this sounds like to you guys, but I'm having a good time. So, KV-1B, he's in a diamond position, but his turret was facing us, so that's the one place where we can pen him with our APCR. We put one through the turret, taking out his gunner, but somehow we got shot in the transmission, taking down our transmission and some of the poor, poor unfortunate souls. Mm, very tasty. In the front of the tank. <laughs> you guys ever play, uh... Uh, Dyna what? No, Kingdom Hearts. I was gonna say Dynasty Hearts. Dynasty Warriors. G great game. It feels like Dynasty Warriors when I'm playing this tank. And oh, that's why I got penned because uh, he was behind me. Oh, this is that cool part of the match where they got around behind me. They got a shot at the booty. But if you're in the jumbo. One thing you can do is your enemies are often using AP, HE, armor piercing, high explosive rounds. So as long as they don't have a shot at your side, you're okay. Because if they put one into your booty where the engine resides, then the high explosive round blows up in the engine compartment and usually just sets you on fire and takes down your engine. So you can take two hits that way. And uh, speaking of Thunder Show, a certain Toshio Akiyama got featured on Thunder Show uh, quite a while back now, but I'm not done bragging about it. And uh, that's when I picked up the RU251 with my uh, Golden Eagles I got from that. And the reason I mention that is uh, in that video that ended up on Thunder Show, and of course it's on my channel, there was a time in arcade where I got set on fire twice and I had my booty facing a bunch of enemy tanks and I don't want to spoil what happens but um, we get set on fire a third time so there's no coming back for us just like now uh, only things worked out a little bit better for us now than they or then than they do for us this time you know, we still managed to pick up a few more points, and I'm not really hurting for spawn points. I was hoping to get one more kill, just one more. And, you know, and even Baker's dozen of enemies destroyed. Human file when ready. And, uh, we were in the... Oh, hold on. It's Cheerio time. It is Cheerio time. There you go. Yes, I am bribing my baby. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Okay, so we were in the French Jumbo, so that means that we get to roll out in our uh, M4A1 FL10, and this is a fun tank. This is a tank that actually can perform much better in an up tier than the Jumbo does, because it has a reliable gun. Uh, using the Jumbo against 5.7 uh, heavy tanks, or even the 5.3 T3485 and IS-1, very challenging to say the least. In a head-on-head -head engagement they will delete you and then kick in Russian all the way to the bank. Um, but the FL-10 turret 
with the commensurate 75mm high velocity gun with armor piercing rounds. Performs very well at the moment, especially with the AP spalling buff that has been a long time coming. Um, but I've already talked about that. It performs much better in an up tier. Has good mobility so you can play it as a flanker. And even though other flankers will arrive before you, you have slightly better armor than some of the light tanks you'll encounter. Not that it matters, because your armor is not reliable. But your turret has surprising survivability because it's difficult to take out the gunner. And you have a fantastic, very reliable gun one of the best guns at this tier. Um, of course you don't have APHE but if you aim for the cannon breach or the gunner you can take down the enemy's ability to fight or if they have a slow traversing turret and they're not looking at you you can take down the engine compartment. I find that's easier to aim for than the driver so I usually aim for the engine and then you can usually wipe out their entire crew with one more shot and if you're aiming at them from the back, oh my gosh, just put one straight down the middle of the tank and watch that spalling wipe out everything inside. It's very satisfying. Um, but we're pretty much done with the match. Our team has done very well. Uh, did we pick up that one more kill? I think we pick up one more kill in this match. I wasn't really watching. I was talking about FL-10 guns. And uh, I have a little invader. Hi, Javi. <laughs> Who's looking for more Cheerios? So, uh, you know, distractions. So we pick up 13 kills, several assists, a couple of base captures, you know, the good things in life. And, uh, yeah, well, you have a Cheerio. I see you using the finger to, to push it around, and you know, you can use your tongue for that. You just kind of want to flippity flapper it until it gets to where you want it to be. You know? Okay, I'm not going to tell you what to do. You, you, you'll figure it out. Yeah. Yeah, she's eating the solid food. Anyway, guys, that was a solid match, and thanks for hanging out with me for a while. Catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.